Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and welcome to my lab. In this video, I am gonna show you a Hackintosh I finally made after years of trying to make this. And actually, I used to tinker with Hackintoshes back in like 2017. But the thing is, uh, my computer was simply not compatible anymore with macOS because I changed my GPU to an AMD RTX 3060 Ti and if you know anything about Hackintoshes you know that the RTX cards are not compatible with macOS but now I have a an AMD RX 6750 XT and it is also not compatible with macOS so wait a second how are you running macOS da, 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 da. can you see here it's literally an RX uh, 6700 uh, I'm, I'm sorry it's a 6750 XT uh, 12 gigabytes 32 gigabytes RAM and this is also not an Intel Xeon, so how the heck am I doing this? Well, it turns out my computer is actually an AMD Ryzen 7 5700G processor and an AMD RX 6750XT graphics card. The thing is, someone decided to out of nowhere make a driver for uh, the AMD RX 6700 and 6700... I'm sorry, 6750XT, oh my god, these names are just off the charts man <laughs> and because of that now many people including me can run macOS and I decided to install it just to take a look and also uh, for like for a time now the Ryzen uh, like the Ryzen line of processors are already compatible with macOS because of the patches uh, like the AMD CPU processor I, I forgot the name of the driver that makes all of this work but let me show you something really cool. So first off, let me just change. I know I love this background. Uh, it's the Great Wall of China. But I'm just gonna, for the purpose of this video, change it to macOS Sonoma's background, just so you show. So, so just so I can uh, show you that I am actually running the latest version here. Uh, where is like the uh, appearance here? Let me put the the light version. Oh my god, I love this. So 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 beautiful, man. It's crazy. Like. Uh, this is just uh, I'm I'm just lying to Mac to I mean to Apple. This is not my actual processor. It's not an Intel Xeon. It's actually also oh no, it is eight core. Yeah, it, it's correct. Uh, it, it's actually an AMD processor. So what enables me to do this is actually a new text release called Newt RX. It's a little plugin for the RDNA two and futurely I think the RDNA 3 I'm not sure uh, dedicated GPUs because uh, Apple decided for some reason that they did, didn't want to make a Mac with like an AMD uh, RX 6700 graphics card I don't know why but these crazy people here decided you know what let's make a driver and do you, and do you know what the best part of all of this is the driver is so good, like I'm not joking, the driver is so good that in some cases it even exceeds the performance of whatever green. Because if you know something about Hackintosh, you know that whatever green is like the uh, the godsend for anyone who wants to like run a Macintosh, uh, I mean a Hackintosh, because this is like, like just makes everything work. So uh, I was reading like the forums of Tony Mac x86 it's like a the, I think it's the main forum for hacking touches and some people were posting like benchmarks and <laughs> it's crazy because this driver made by random people like they, they said that they're students I am a college student I can't do this how how do they manage to make stuff like this you know they could make a driver for AMD and this is actually a driver this is like just insane and a driver that literally exceeds the performance of a driver that, ha that has been like in development for years and is used by like thousands of people and is contributed by a hundred developers like how did these people manage to do this? this this is just insane and it is actually completely usable like uh, my latest short film uh, by the way I don't know if you know but I make short films my latest short film was edited in this Hackintosh using both uh, 
Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve. So you can, of course, both of them are accelerated by the Matto API from Apple. And it is just here to show that, yeah, this is actually completely usable. Everything is working. Uh, what else can I show you? Like, you can see the, the animations are all here. And let me show you something really interesting, too, because on Google Chrome, you even get, uh, here, let's go to Chrome GPU. You even get hardware acceleration for H.264 and H.265 uh, video. Like, how did these guys manage to make a driver that's so performant and that is even compatible with hardware acceleration? Now, I didn't configure DR DRM yet. I think it's configurable, but honestly, I don't use any streaming platforms, so it's not a big thing for me. I am not sure if you can use DRM stuff. I saw some people on the Tony Mac um, forum use, uh, enabling that. I didn't try to fiddle around with it because I don't use Netflix, I don't use Prime Video, so whatever for me it doesn't really doesn't matter. I don't know why VP9 is not here. It's not get, getting like uh, hardware acceleration here, but that doesn't matter. Like literally everything is working and it runs so freaking well. Oh yeah, let me show you something too. So the thing is, uh, if you don't know, Discord on AMD is not so like it has a few bugs on Hackintosh. Because Discord wants to use, a, a, um, I forgot, like an API, I think, from Intel called the MKA, MKL library. Yeah, it's like a math library from Intel. And if you use that on AMD, it'll crash every time you open like a, a Discord call because of this thing right here. It's the crisp, uh, crisp, yeah, crisp noise suppression. But there's a workaround that I found, uh, which is just basically, let me show you here. Uh, let me open the terminal. Uh, no, let me open another instance of the terminal here. Uh, so just CD to the desktop and nano uh, discord yeah, command. So if you use this command here to launch discord, I, I don't like a launch by the, the launch pad or by the dock. Now I launch by using this command here. Uh, you can actually use it, no problems, I'm using it like daily now and I can even use crisp, everything's working. So yeah, um, it's just like instead of opening it from here, you have to open it from there. And you, the, the same quirks from using an AMD Hackintosh, of course, you have, the, you, you have to like enable some hacks to use the Adobe softwares, which I don't use, so I don't have a problem with that. But besides that, everything is working. You get even access to like the App Store. Everything's here. You can use Final Cut, GarageBand, which is, are basically like the main reasons for for someone to to like use this. Like Final Cut, uh, Logic Pro. Yeah, I was trying to remember that name. Everything's here and it's working. And the ah oh, man, the animations are so good about this Mac. It is beautiful, man. I love Mac OS. I, I seriously like. I don't like Apple as a whole, but Mac OS, there's just something special about it. And I'm happy that now, even though but I think Mac OS on x86 will die within three years or something like that, even though that's a, like a fact, uh, I still am having a lot of fun doing this. So just a, a small like warning for you if you want to make this and you have a similar graphics card. I couldn't get it to boot like on the installation media using the Newt RX uh, driver. I had to use whatever green and just not use hardware acceleration, like uh, not, just not use the GPU until I installed this and I configured. And then after I was on the desktop, I deleted whatever green and I put Newt RX there. And then it worked, of course. And now I have all the bells and whistles. Bells and whistles. <laughs> I was trying to remember that expression. <laughs> all the bells and whistles. And by the way, if you want to download this, you have to create an account on GitHub and come here to Actions and just go to whatever, like, whatever last thing here is and you scroll down and, like, download this artifact. I can download now because I'm not logged in because I actually don't use Safari. I use Google Chrome. But that was it. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave down, them down below. Uh, see you next time. I really liked doing this experience. I'm gonna use basically this Hackintosh for as much as I can 
It's literally updated to the la latest uh, macOS version. And that is so awesome. Seriously, so, so, so awesome. And I'm using, even using like on, on OBS, I'm using like, let me show you, uh, the Apple VT hardware encoder. And it works on my GPU. That's crazy. Look, my CPU is only using 1%, so it is actually using hardware acceleration, accelerated encoding to record this video. So yeah, everything's basically working really well. Uh, I really love this mouse shaking thing. I don't know why, but this I'm addicting. I'm addicted to just shaking my mouse and doing this. Anyways, this, this video is long enough, so bye-bye. Uh, thank you for watching it. See you next time with my next experiment. Goodbye.